What's up guys, Black Scout, and today following up in the Walmart Survival Gear series and I got the uh, Titanium Knife by Camelus. I think this is a $9 knife. Um, and we're gonna see how well this bad boy does. Um, supposed to be titanium, has an over molded grip, and uh, same thing, it's like $9. Um, feels great in the hand, I will say that. Very thin blade, so I don't know how well that's gonna do a survival knife. And you know what I'm going to do first, right? Well, my GoPro died. I was trying to get two camera angles, but bad news. <laughs> Already bent the crap out of the blade. Although it didn't break like Gerber does, but did bend it. Let's carve a little bit. One thing I will say is at the top of this blade right here, you can't really put any assisting pressure on here because it's kind of like a semi uh, tapered. It's not sharpened, but it's a tapered kind of like the blade is. So it kind of digs in this part these weird um, little grooves here um, kind of hurt as well so you can't really do any good assisting so you gotta hold standard grip I mean the edge does feel paper thin So guys, the sheath is some very cheap nylon sheath. It says Camelus Titanium. Looking at the box, we have, it says titanium stainless steel, full tang, non-slip grip, and lanyard hole. Now, not a lot of information about this titanium stainless steel. I didn't know there could be both. Maybe it's titanium coated. But, you know, you got a spoon knife now, you know, <laughs> you can carve a bowl with it, you know. But uh, the thing is to me, man, a lot of people ask at times, like, why do I even do that? Stab and pry. Because I've had to pry a lot of stuff in, in the wild or use the tip of my knife to do things. And I think a survival knife should have a strong tip. Um, and steel should be tougher than wood, right? I mean, that was old wood that this did. If I did it on some... You know, good hardwood stuff, it had definitely probably snapped. The only reason why it bent is because that wood was a down old tree. But, you know, outside of that, it was very uncomfortable trying to do an assist on it, but the handle is very comfortable. Um, I will say that, very comfortable. It does spit sparks very well from this blade top here where I said it has kind of like a sharpened bevel, um, a swedge, a lot of people call it. But $9. Um, do I like this knife? No, you know, the blade to me is just a bit too thin. Like I said, I can't assist and I assist a lot whenever I cut. Um, but could this knife be for someone? Possibly it's $9, <laughs> you know, I mean, a $9 knife and it did not break. Um, unlike the, I think 30 or $40 Gerber that I, uh, I used, you know, so, um, if you're on a budget, it could possibly be something good for you, but you know, spend a couple more dollars and get a Mora, you know, five more dollars and get a Mora, and it has a thicker blade profile and much tougher knife, so that's just my opinion. Um, but I'll put a link to this knife below if you're interested in it. Check your local Walmart. Um, like I said, not really my seal of approval, but it could be a very light duty knife, you know, don't do nothing crazy with it, maybe food processing, stuff like that. The, the, the edges is a uh, paper sharp now i will say that it does have a very sharp edge they did do a good job on that but uh, all right real quick so you can see i did stick the knife back in some wood to uh see if i can straighten it back out and it did straighten back out did not break let's see if we can get that tip just right back to where it was 
Yeah, pretty much. And it didn't break even when I bent it back, so that's a plus, right? But uh, anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Walmart reviews, let me know. Also, let me know if there's things that you see at Walmart and you want to see me uh, review. And it doesn't have to be knives. It can be fire starting gear, whatever it may be. But let me know in the comments if there's particular items you want to see on these Walmart reviews going forward. But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching Black Scout Survival. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.